Good morning. It's certainly a pleasure to be here together this morning to recognize many of our seniors from the class of 2021. Things have been much different over the last 15 or 16 months, but the achievements and accomplishments of our seniors has not changed. They have worked diligently for hours they worked under circumstances that no other students had to work under. And yet they've still achieved many things during these difficult times. So it's a pleasure to have with us many of our class of 2021 and their parents today as we recognize these achievements. For the benefit of the community and family members at home, we're also live streaming this event on YouTube with the newly bought cameras at Halifax County High School that also will be used to live stream our graduation ceremony this year. So if you have family members at home, they can get that face link on Facebook. I also like to recognize that we have our school board chair with us, Ms. Kathy Fraley this morning. We appreciate you being here as we recognize the many accomplishments of these seniors and our school superintendent, Dr. Mark Lineberg. At this time, I would like to call up Ms. Michaeline Palmore as we begin to recognize these many achievements. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to Halifax County High School. It's good to see the seniors out here. Go class of 2021. And this is always one of my favorite times of year because I get to recognize our students for things that they have accomplished academically, athletically, the awards for school and, community, school and community. So I'm glad to have you here and glad to have parents and family here also. So we'll get started. Established in 1938, Mecklenburg Electric Cooperative is a nonprofit member-owned electric cooperative serving over 31,000 accounts across nine Southside Virginia counties and 45 Northern North Carolina counties. In order to be eligible for one of the five $1,000 Mecklenburg Electric Scholarships, the student's parents or guardian must be a member of Mecklenburg Electric and the student must show their, ed their dedication to both academic achievement as well as school and community involvement. We are proud today to recognize two of five scholarship recipients that are from Halifax County. Congratulations to Betty B Bailey Bowen and Joseph Wilson. Would y'all come up? Come up. Congratulations. 
The R.J. Oliver Memorial Scholarship has been established in memory of Robert R.J. Oliver. R.J. was a highly respected and loved 19-year-old college student and member of the Halifax community who was killed in a car accident in the summer of 2016. He was a student athlete who played college and high school football and was an all-star baseball player in Halifax County Dixie League. R.J.'s family and friends have established the scholarship in memory of R.J.'s generosity to his fellow teammates who may not have had the support or means to fully participate in sports. The R.J. Oliver 2021 scholarship goes to Tavion Coleman. This year we would like to recognize two of our seniors as GRASS scholarship winners and they are Deja Tucker getting the CC Pathway Scholarship and Alexis Hubbard the Last Dollar Scholarship. <laughs> Alexis I know will not be with us today because she is participating in the regional track me, so she will not be here. The Parsons Bruce Art Association each year recognizes a student in the senior class. This year we are proud to recognize Jackson Hart with a $1,000 scholarship. And we would also like to recognize Jackson on receiving an ODU Perry Honor College Scholarship and an ODU Presidential Scholarship. Congratulations. <laughs> the Danville Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta is, is giving a $1,000 scholarship to Yasmin Massenberg and Ashante Lee. County Scholarship to the University of Virginia is given this year to William Watts and Nevea Hodges. On behalf of Sentara Halifax Regional Hospital, a division of Sentara Healthcare, I am pleased to present the annual Bates Scholarship Award. This scholarship was named in honor of the late Jesse Bates, who served the hospital and his patients with dignity and compassion for over 50 years. The scholarship was established in 2003 and is awarded annually to chosen high school seniors in Sentara Halifax Regional Hospital service area. The Bates Scholarship Committee members designate several attributes a student must have in order to receive or be eligible for the scholarship. First, the student must have expressed a true desire and calling to enter a career in the healthcare field. Second, the student must have demonstrated strong academic abilities as well as involvement in community or extracurricular activities. Third, the students were required to present letters of recommendation from teachers and or counselors describing their character as well as why they were deserving of the award. These were just a few of the qualities that the committee considered important in the spirit and memory of Dr. Bates. This year, three students from Halifax County were, were selected for the scholarship from Halifax County High School. 
Santerra Halifax Regional Hospital is very pleased to announce this year's recipients of the Bates Scholarship of $1,000 to Ellie Hall, Bailey Bowen, and Caitlin Love. Microphones and way of the camera. Oh. Congratulations. Congratulations. The 2020, the 2021 Hughes Memorial Scholarship is being presented to Ellie Hall and Andrew Hansen. <laughs> First of all, congratulations to the graduating class. It's a real honor for me to give out the first annual Turry Dickey Memorial Scholarship. Turry is a classmate of mine or was a classmate of mine. We shared a lot of great times at Halifax County High School and on the ball field. Turry Dickey liked growing up in a small Virginia town. Being a student at Halifax County High School, but most of all, he loved baseball. He took the skills, lessons, and disciplines that he learned in baseball and he applied them in his life. He was always about celebrating and acknowledging the good and the success in others and quick to uplift the defeated. He never lost his team spirit and loved being part of a group working towards a goal. He started playing baseball at the age of three learning the fundamentals of the catcher position from his dad. He was running down runners, backing up the first baseman when he was very young. Terry was an all-star on the South Boston Dixie Youth Baseball League team, winning the Virginia State Championship in 1968. Went on to play Little League World Series in 1974. He won the batting crown here at the high school and he continued his career being a catcher at the Virginia Tech, for the Virginia Tech Hokies. Terry received a BS degree in forestry from Virginia Tech, and he got his master's from the University of Iowa. He had an exemplary career in manufacturing, serving as president of the Marsh Furniture Company in North Carolina. This scholarship award is presented to a student who shows similar positive characteristics as Terry had. These being leadership, dependability, trustworthiness, compassion, kindness, work ethic, honesty, and sportsmanship. Terry's favorite ball player was Johnny Bench. Terry did not talk about how he played he talked about plays made by others that supported the win. That was a quote from his best friend, O.C. Haley. Hence, the Johnny Bench quote is engraved on the award. My biggest moment was winning the World Series because everyone in my town was able to feel like they were a world champion. The family of Terry Dickey is very proud to present the award to Nathan Comer. We know that you will go far, much success. Congratulations. While I have Nathan up on the stage, I'd also
The following students are going to receive a $500 Troy Nation scholarship. Alexis Hubbard, Susanna Watts, Nathan Comer, and Joey Duffer. Congratulations. The Virgin Lima Alumni Scholarship was established on June 1, 2000, following the 100th anniversary of Virgin Lima Elementary School High School located in Virgin Lima, Virginia. It was established by the alumni of Virgin Lima Schools and Friends. The first scholarships were awarded in June of 2001. The Virgin Lima Alumni Scholarship Fund is organized exclusively for educational purposes, specifically to award scholarships for post-secondary education education to students who attended Virgin Lina Elementary School or had a relative who attended Virgin Lina Elementary School or Virgin Lina High School. They, someone in the family must have attended to meet the criteria. This scholarship money it may be used for tuition, books, or fees. Over the last 20 years, over $12,000 have been awarded to deserving students. This year, the Virgin Lina The 2021 Bison Scholarship is presented to Kaya, Kaya Easley. Okay, will the following students please stand to be recognized for receiving their associate degree from South South Virginia Community College and their general education certificate from Danville Community College. You will receive your cords and medal in your graduation packet. So again, please stand as I call your name. Katherine Allen. <laughs> Simeon Bellino. Christopher Beatles, Andrea Beverly, Kayla Brown, Gavin Caldwell, Anthony Connor, Blake D'Amato, Alexandra Ramil Tavera, Chaya Debeau, Joseph Duffer, Kaya Easley, Caroline Edmonds, Malin Edwards. James Francis, Madeline Freshhower Frazier, Camila Guthrie, Ellie Hall, Andrew Hansen, Jackson Hart. Nevea Hodges, Alexis Hubbard, 
Shelby Irby. Zachary Jones. Ashante Lee. Jackson Lloyd. Caitlin Love. Chance McDowell. Cheyenne McElroy. Ethan McKinney. Taylor McKinney. Christina Morton. Adam Oaks. Luke Red. Trevor Riddle. Joshua Roberts. Emma Rogers. Tassiana Room. Wendy Sands Marino. Andrew Sally. Rosa Anna Ruatolo Sarnatero. Aisha Smith. John Taylor. Parker Bone. Jenna Warren. Reese Wooding. Autumn Younger. Benny Zhang. And Lillian Zhang. Congratulations, guys. We would now like to recognize Reese Woody. Reese. Reese will attend ODU in the fall, and we are recognizing him for receiving a merit scholarship to Old Dominion University. Congratulations. One of the goals of the Mary M. Bethune alumni and associates of the former Mary M. Bethune High School of Halifax County is to give scholarships to graduates of Halifax County High School. To achieve this goal, the Mary M. Bethune alumni and associates formed the Bethune Scholarship Foundation Incorporated in 1978. At this time, they would like to present the 2021 scholarship to Nadia Dunkley. The Greater Brandon Chapel Missionary Baptist Church established its scholarship in 1996. In 2004, the scholarship was renamed the DeAndre Barksdale Memorial Scholarship in memory of DeAndre Barksdale, who died on January 1, 2004 at the age of five. A 2021 recipient, the, the 2021 recipient of the Andre, DeAndre Barksdale Memorial Scholarship is Terrence Poteet. Congratulations. We'd like to recognize Galvin Col Colwell.
He will, Gavin will attend Avert University in the fall, and he is receiving a founder's scholarship. Congratulations. The Harvey Leroy Fuller Scholarship has been set up to honor him for his leadership in the Republican Grove Baptist Church of Nazareth. Harvey was a visionary and well-rounded individual who loved God and kept God first in his life. He loved providing wisdom and exchanging ideas with youth, adults, and people in general. Being a veteran of the armed services and venturing through 48 states as a truck driver made him determined to live life to the fullest. This scholarship was designed for someone who has determination, focuses to live as a Christian at heart, works with youth and adults in the church and community, and strives to make a better environment for everyone. The recipient, excuse me, the recipient of this scholarship is Ms. Nadia Dunkley. She stated, my faith in Jesus Christ has been a tremendous part of my life, and I wouldn't be the person I am today without the Lord. After graduation from Halifax County High School, she plans to attend Virginia State University in Petersburg, Virginia. To further her education and become a mathematics teacher. That's great. I'm pleased to present this scholarship to Ms. Nadia Dunkley of the Republican Grove Baptist Church from the family of the late Deacon Harvey Leroy Fuller. Congratulations. And we'd like now to recognize Jackson Newton. Jackson, yeah. All right. Jackson is going to attend Marymount University in the fall, and he is receiving a presidential scholarship for $24,300 and a Spirit of Service scholarship for $2,500. Congratulations, Jackson. The Turbo Ruiton Club Scholarship this year is being presented to, to, to Sean Medlin. Congratulations. And now we'd like to uh, present Ashe Smith. She is going to attend Christopher Newport University and she is receiving the President's Leadership Program. Thank you. The 2021 recipients of the Wanda Bostic Jeffries Memorial Scholarship are Ellie Hall and Rosa Anna Rutolio Santero. <laughs> These scholarships are $2,500 each. The students selected to receive the Roger J. Ford Scholarship were selected based upon their demonstration of involvement in the community and their leadership ability, including participation in extracurricular and community activities and civic organizations. These students also wrote very compelling and impressive essays which demonstrated how their life mirrors that of a community activist and how they plan to give back to their community. As Roger J. Ford during his lifetime, on behalf of the Halifax County Austin branch of the NAACP, we congratulate the fall students, Catherine Allen, <laughs> Andrew Hanson, recognize Samuel Cash, The Virginia Society of the Order of the Founders and Patriots of America award each year, uh, a, make an award each year to an outstanding senior graduate 
uh, in the ROTC program. In recognition of selection as the outstanding patriotic Army JROTC cadet in Halifax County High School for the year 2021. One thing about Samuel is that every time I called on him, I could count on him to be available if he could and to do a good job when he showed up. I would like to recognize Nadia Dunkley. The uh, Association of the United States Army Chapter for Western Virginia uh, uh, has a member whose name is uh, Lieutenant Colonel Robert Adams, and he's established a scholarship that provides, a small scholarship that provides pocket change for seniors going to college. Uh, it's, it's based on, its award is based on academics and performance in JROTC, and this year it goes to Nadia Duncan. And is the, there's one other award. I know this senior is not here, but each, each year I select the outstanding senior graduate and award that person the uh, Daughters of the American Revolution Award. I think it's fitting that the, uh, that the revolution, or at least the fight that established our country is continued in the, in the standards and conduct of an outstanding graduating senior who's continued to participate not only to the heritage of this country but to her own uh, achievements as well. And this year that award went to Isabella Long. The Heiko Road Royalton Club scholarships this year are the Fraser Pool Memorial Scholarship, Susanna Watts, Nathan Comer, and Jacob Cruz. And the Build Your Dollar Scholarship goes to Shelby Irby. My sister and I wanted to do something to um, honor mom. Uh, so uh, the Sir Elizabeth Betty Bain Scholarship is a scholarship that's given out of her alma mater, JMU. She graduated from Madison College in 1952. This was to honor, this is to honor her life, her outstanding achievement, her love for JMU, and the importance she put on education. The recipient of this scholarship must be an entering JMU freshman, must have excellent grades, outstanding extracurricular activity and service achievement. The JMU Director of Scholars selects the recipient. This year we have many people deserving but I am pleased to announce Andrew Scott Hansen as the winner of the Betty Bain Elizabeth Scholarship. And as always, go do. Would Adam, Adam Palmer please come forward? Adam plans to attend Norfolk State University in the fall, and he has received, he is going to receive a $2,000 band scholarship, and he is also going to receive the Bishop Roger L. Jackson Scholarship. Congratulations.
The 2021 South Boston Halifax County Junior Women's Club Scholarship is presented to Caitlin Love. The Union, Ru the Union Ruiton Club Scholarship is presented to Trevor Riddle, Samuel Cash, and Andrew Hansen. The RACE Clothing Scholarship of $1,000 is presented to Alexis Hubbard. <laughs> Kayla Spencer. <laughs> Kayla is going to receive the Southside Virginia Community College Virginia Commonwealth Award and a book scholarship. Congratulations, Kayla. The Halifax County Vocational Foundation gives scholarships each year to students who have completed a vocational sequence. This is also known as the D. Henry Harrison, who at one time was the Director of Vocational Education in Halifax. This year's recipients are Stephen Adkins, Andrew Hansen, and Lacey Wilburn. Good morning and congratulations to the class of 2021. Two years ago, with the help of the Claude, of a grant from the Claude Moore Foundation, Halifax County High School was able to develop the School of Health and Medical Science. Along with that grant came the opportunity to award scholarships to those who planned to continue their education in the healthcare field. It gives me great pleasure to award a $1,000 scholarship to three very deserving young ladies as they prepare to become future health educators. With Kylie Mitchell, Isabella Duncan, Isabella Daniels, and Alexis Hubbard, please come forward. The Olivia Grace Noblin Memorial Scholarship is presented to graduating seniors in the class each year. These students have been involved in activities throughout their high school year and met the standards that are put forth in the scholarship requirements. These students are Katherine Allen, Jackson Lloyd, Andrew Sally, and Susanna Watts. Congratulations. The science department recognizes a senior in the class who has the highest GPA in the science field and has taken the highest level science that are offered. This year, the senior science award goes to J.T. Francis.
Halifax County Little Theatre has been part of the community for 66 years, entertaining audiences with various plays and musicals, and also giving citizens of all ages the chance to share their talents, whether on stage or off stage. Today we honor a young person who has been part of our organization for seven years, appearing in a variety of shows as well as working backstage. It is with great pride that we present a $1,000 scholarship to Andrew Hansen. Congratulations, Andrew. Now my pleasure to present to you the class of 2021 National Honor Society and members. Earlier this year we did do a virtual induction ceremony, but we haven't been able to formally recognize them. So we wanted to do so this morning during the Senior Awards program. When I call your name, if you will report to the stage. Bailey Bowen, Cameron Burnett, Shay Carey, Blake Dabato, Caroline Edmonds, Malin Edwards, James Francis. Madeline Frazier Freshour, Jennifer Guerrero Velasquez, Ellie Hall, Andrew Hansen, Jackson Hart, Abby Hill, Navea Hodges. Alexis Hubbard, Benjamin Irby, Ashante Lee, Jackson Lloyd, Kendall Long, Caitlin Love, Chance McDowell, Kylie Mitchell, Jackson Newton, Luke Red, Trevor Riddle, Joshua Roberts, Rosanna Ruotolo Sonatero, Wendy Sans Marino, Andrew Sally, Aisha Smith, Parker Vaughn, Gracie Wagstad, Gina Warren, Susanna Watts, William Watts, Lacey Wilburn, Taswell Wooding, Lillian Zane, Richard Edmonds. Is Richard here? 
Simona. Richard is going to attend Bridgewater College in the fall, and he is being awarded an Eagle Award. This award is $26,000 a year, renewable, so a total of $104,000 that he will receive. And he will also receive a Virginia Assistance Grant of $4,000. Arthur Ware was a South Boston businessman who wanted to help students establish and further their education. A scholarship was established in his memory. Today, a scholarship will be awarded to a senior planning to major or minor in business, marketing, merchandising, economics, or accounting. We are pleased to announce the recipient of the 2021 C. Arthur Ware Scholarship of $2,000 to Trevor Riddle. The South Boston Rotary Club each year presents scholarships to graduating seniors. This year, the Marshall Swanson Rotary Club Scholarship is presented to Andrew Hansen. And the Kenneth Cassidy Scholarship is presented to Alexis Hubbard. And also with the South Boston uh, Rotary Club, the South Boston Speedway and the Mattioti Foundation Scholarship goes to Alessandra uh, Devere. The Robin S. Collier Memorial Scholarship for Women in Mathematics is presented to Caitlin Love. Oh, there's Travis. I didn't saw it. I am so sorry. I didn't know you were back there. So you tell me about the scholarship. Sure. Just wait a minute. Uh, the Robin S. Collier Scholarship for Women in Mathematics hopes to help women who are majoring in science, mathematics, technology, and engineering. And today, I'm going to give this scholarship to Caitlin Love. Congratulations. The 2021 Win Beneath the Wing Scholarship is presented to Alexis Hubbard. The Halifax County Ushers Union Scholarship is presented to Yasmin Massenberg and Kaya Easley. Congratulations, Chase. Congratulations. The U.S. History Award for 2021 goes to Caitlin Love. The Halifax County Farm Bureau and Halifax County Farm Bureau Women's Committee scholarships are awarded this year to Bailey Bowen, KT Mitchell, and Susanna Watts. Susanna also is receiving a the, the, um, the Halifax County Cattlemen's 
Association Scholarship. This scholarship is created and is intended to be awarded to individuals that are from our rural areas that though they may not pursuing an agricultural degree, her, she has been greatly impacted by agriculture and, pe and, pref and particularly the beef industry. And she is also receiving a, switch my page, a Baptist General Association of Virginia Scholarship. Congratulations. The URW Community Federal Credit Union, Credit Union Scholarship is being presented to Ashante Lee. Ashanto is all, Ashante is also being recognized for being a hometown hero that was awarded by Long and Foster Realtors, and she is receiving a College of William and Mary Grant. Okay. Mike Gregory, better known as Slow, was a 1979 graduate of Halifax County High School and a 1983 cum laude graduate of, of Washington and Lee University. Football and golf were Mike's passions. Winning many golf championships, Mike was dedicated to the game of golf. The slow shootout golf tournament is held every October at Greens Folly Golf Course to raise money for a deserving senior in memory of Mike. Academics, dedication, sportsmanship, and the ability to be a team player were attributes chosen for this scholarship. A $1,000 scholarship will be awarded to the following golfers this year. Cameron Burnett, Jackson Lloyd, and Jackson Newton. Congratulations. The Phi Chapter of Delta Kappa Gamma Scholarship is proud to present its teaching scholarship to Shelby Irby. The family of John Jaster Pointer III are giving their memorial scholarship this year to Nadia Duncan. The recipient of the Wendell Scott Senior Scholarship for 2021 is Jasmine Massenburg. Recognize now Keith and Garner. Is Keith in here? <laughs> Keith has been selected to be a member of the National Society of High School Scholars. He is recognized because he has demonstrated hard work, sacrifice, and commitment to school and community. Congratulations, Keith. J. Marshall Swanson was the first principal of the first of when Halifax County High School was opened in the, I think, 1952, 53, 54, somewhere around. He was the first principal, and he was, a, he was a true educator. His wife also taught school, and they taught and worked in the community for many years. The scholarship, this scholarship 
was established in him and Mr. Swanson and his wife's memory. This year, the Swanson Memorial Scholarship of $500 is presented to Alexis Hubbard. The Dr. Bessie Carr Award is given each year to a student in recognition of outstanding leadership abilities, good character, superior intellectual promise, and service to the school. It is Dr. Carr's hope that this award will inspire a graduating senior to pursue his or her goals and light the way for others. The recipient of the 60th Dr. Bessie Carr Scholarship is Christina Morton. And I'd just like to say that this year, Dr. Carr celebrated her 100th birthday. Congratulations. And I'd like to recognize DJ Jennings. DJ, has, oh, sorry. DJ is going to attend Norfolk State University. He's been accepted into the Honors College. He's going to receive a Provost Merit Scholarship, a Dean Scholar Award, an Outstanding Academic Achievement Grant. Congratulations. Congratulations, DJ. <laughs> Colonel Cutler gave it a, a DAR for someone in the JROTC program. We also the high school is able to re recognize one of our seniors as a DAR recipient. This year's DAR recipient is Katherine Allen. We'd like to announce that Joseph Wilson is a recipient of a $1,500 LP Corporation Scholarship. Congratulations. The Institute for Advanced Learning and Research, STEM, awards a scholarship each year to a student that is going into to a medical field or some uh, STEM field. This year, the, the IRA schol IALR scholarship is presented to Caitlin Love. After the death of Coach Fred Palmore, his children and I decided that we wanted to continue on to, to recognize students at the high school and encourage them, as he always did, to, to further their education. He was a coach, he loved it, it was his heart, and he always encouraged his students and those he coached and everyone to further their education, whether they did it for one year, but they went to a four-year school, a trade or technical school, or a two-year school, or if they went in the military, to go and get as much advanced degree, and not advanced, but to get as much education as you could because in life you'd be able to, to move up higher if you had that more education. So the children and I established a scholarship in his memory, and we always wanted the, these children to, for y'all to realize that sports plays an important part in your life, it helps you with discipline, it helps you in many ways, and also those of you that have been involved in school and community activities. So this year, my children and I are proud to present the Fred Palmore Memorial Scholarship to Alexis Hubbard, Tavion Coleman, and Tucker Paris.
congratulations. Thank you. The Halifax County Public Schools Education Foundation was, was organized in March of 2005, and it was the purpose of this organization to promote interest in public education in Halifax County. They, this organization uh, offers scholarships each year to our students. They do many grants, and they, they, just they, they do a great job. Today, we would like to recognize the following students for that, that we're going to receive the 2021 Education Foundation Scholarships. They're in the box. These scholarships are for $1,000. Tavion Coleman. You mean? Nathan Cohn, <laughs> Alessandra DeVera, Caroline Edmonds, Jackson Hart, Caitlin Love, Joseph Wilson. These other scholarships are also underneath the umbrella of the Halifax Education Foundation, but they go with, um, we have different names for this. The Edward Glasscott Memorial Scholarship of $1,000 is to Trevor Riddle. <laughs> Delegate James Edmonds Community Involvement Scholarship, Leo Noblin. <laughs> Coleman Starnes Memorial Athletic Scholarship, Madeline Freshour Frazier, a $2,000 scholarship. Lester L. Dillard III Memorial Scholarship, Andrew Hansen, $1,000. Dr. Sun G. Lee Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given in the memory of Dr. Lee, who was a emergency, uh, emergency department um, doctor for many years at the hospital here, and his family, his two daughters who are also doctors, and um, his wife present this scholarship. And this scholarship for $5,000 is presented to Madeline Freshour Frazier. And the Hula B. Moorfield Scholarship of $2,000 is presented to Blake D'Amato. These, and I'm going to say this before Dr. Lindenberg makes a presentation. Also on graduation day, the top 10 will be presented a Moorfield, they call them Moorfield Scholars. They will be presented a $1,000 scholarship and that will be uh, done the day of graduation. Good morning. I would like to congratulate Katherine Allen for receiving the Teach for Tomorrow Scholarship. This is one of my favorite awards given, and I hope Katherine will return to Halifax County in the future to teach in our school system. Katherine is a member of the National Honor Society, Student School Board Representative, Bethel Baptist Church Group, member of the ACE team, a peer mediator, and will attend Christopher Newport. The award is in the amount of $1,500. Congratulations, Katherine.
I'm here to uh, announce the uh, Francis Mitchell Best All-Around Female Athlete. Uh, these uh, awards are voted on by our coaches, and for the first time ever, we had a three-way tie, and all, all three young ladies are very deserving. Uh, the first one is Alexis Hubbard, participated in indoor and outdoor track, uh, finished first in many of our district track meets in both running and field events. Uh, Alexis could not be here today because she is at the regional track meet representing Halifax County. Second is Maddie Frazier Fresh Out. Maddie participated in swim and soccer and was a leader on, in both the pool and the soccer field. And then the third is Amanda Duffer. Amanda played a year of softball, played volleyball, and then played, uh, found her place on the tennis court where she worked her way up to the number two spot and uh, represented Halifax County very well. So this is, yeah. Okay, I'm also here to uh, announce the T.C. Watkins Best All-Around Mantle Athlete. Uh, this young man participated in uh, three sports, four sports, uh, basketball, indoor and outdoor track, and a year of soccer. Uh, he would not be with us today if he had not gotten injured, but uh, we are happy he's with us. Um, Jaden Waller. Jaden was a big part of our basketball team going to the state tournament for three years in a row. He is also a state high jump champion. So congratulations, Jaden. Now my distinguished honor to present to you this morning the Class of 2021 Principals Award. The person receiving their Principals Award should value theirs and others' rights to an education, have a solid work ethic, demonstrate good behavior, be a leader amongst their peers, and have a positive impact on their school and community. As several of her teachers to describe her. She has been a wonderful student. She is always ready to provide insight into our topics of discussion. I can always count on her to provide comments in our Zoom sessions. She is incredibly civic-minded and follows through on being a productive member of her community. She has aspirations to become a teacher and eventually run for local office. She is what you think of when you think of a student leader. She has a tremendous work ethic. She always strives to go above and beyond whatever she tackles. She has been an amazing role model for students at Halifax County High School. She is dependable, honest, responsible, empathetic, and motivated just to say a few. It is now my honor to present Katherine Allen as the Class of 21 Principals Award recipient. It has certainly been our parents here agree with me on that. I do ask the class of 21, do not forget to thank all those people, especially those parents and family members 
who have helped you get to these chairs today. We are proud of you. We look forward to the commencement ceremony on June 19th at 9 a.m. I do ask that all the seniors here, if you see Mr. Lauder in the back, will stay. We'd like to get a collective picture, and then anyone who would like to take a picture uh, here with their family members or parents is welcome to do so. But we do want to get one collective picture of everybody, and then we'll be asking certain members to stay behind and take a picture with the media and talk to the media. So this concludes our Seniors Award program. Seniors, if you would go to Mr. Lawler so we can get our picture and thank everyone for their attendance today.